Hello friend, welcome back. I have a very great news for all the Playwright lovers as Playwright is evolving and everybody is using Playwright these days. So in Selector, so we were having the standard selectors like XPath, CSS selector and all types of selectors, ID, name, etc. It was able to generate it. But Playwright has introduced a lot of native selectors which only supports Playwright and they are like very robust and everybody is loving them. So we thought why not to have them in Selector Sub. We have been working on these locators for a quite long time now and here all these types of selectors for playwright selectors what you call like page dot get by role get by text get by label all these types of selectors now will be possible in selector sub you can automatically generate them just in a single click the way you were able to generate other selectors so we have tried our best to keep it in a same way the way you were generating xpath and css selectors so earlier we have made the life easy with XPath selectors and other thing. Now we are making life for these selectors as well as simple as it is. Let me show you how. So same way like you were able to open selectors up. So let me just go to practice page and show you guys there because there we have all types of scenarios. So you just have to open selectors up. Same way either you open it here uh, like you open selectors up here in dev tools or you just open by click on the logo here. Okay, so this is how selector sub opens. So here you see that the same way, I mean like a standard way, here all types of selectors are being generated. You can see them. You can, you are able to inspect any element on the page and all types of uh, like selectors, CSS selector, XPath index, everything is being generated. But then Playwright come up with these selectors. So how can we get these kind of locators? So what you have to do, a very simple thing you just click on this playwright selectors and you see the magic all possible playwright selectors will be generated here and in a same way the way you were able to see xpath and other selectors and their matching count same way we have it here like what is the match count for this particular locator one what is type what type of selector it is get by role get by role and then placeholder title everything is there different kind of scenarios are there whatever you want to use you can use them if you want to copy just click on the copy icon here if you want to edit them or you want to verify just click on the value and hit enter it will verify here it will highlight as well everything will be same as you were doing before here if you go like this is 23 matching or if you click on this value hit enter 23 elements matching all the matching counts here highlighting the first matching node with the orange and rest all in blue color if you hover on them it will highlight that which one is the one so this is how we have made it possible for playwright selector native selectors the same way you are using other selector before in selector sub so for you it is not going to be like anything different it is going to be as easy as it is so if you want to use the generate the playwright selector just switch the tab if you want to go the standard mode you just come here and you will see your uh, standard thing if you have selected like you are working with the playwright selector you select this button if you close this next time when you will come here it will be the playwright selectors only if you have if you will open dev tools there also it will be the same like you don't have to select that standard or playwright selectors again whatever you are generating just select once and next time when you will come to selectors up it will be opening with that only and as always we guarantee that whatever selectors will be generated by selectors up whatever playwright selectors or standard selectors they will be the best uh, like there's no other tool which can match the uh, robustness or uniqueness or you can say the length of these selectors look at this like you just inspect this company here on this practice page which is a very complicated element and if you see the like locator or selector what it has generated it's unique and very very small in length you can try it by yourself it will be very long so same way like you just inspect the element and all playwright selectors will be generated here whatever you want you just click on copy button and you can use them then the scenario so this is how you can uh, basically write uh, auto generate just have to you just have to inspect the element any element you inspect and you can generate so it will be generated or you click on the uh, any dom node here it will automatically generate so there are two ways one you inspect any element another you click on any dom node and it will generate simple now if you want to verify you can write here paste the value or you just click on generated one and you can add it and verify 
even if you will be on standard selectors mode also here also you will be able to generate the uh, like here also you will be able to verify your playwright selector so if you are here on a standard selectors mode and you want to verify you can verify you can verify x path here as usual the same like everything will be working whatever was there before and everything now being supported for playwright as well okay the next question is will it support iframe will it support shadow dom is it supporting shadow dom inside iframe iframe inside shadow dom multiple shadow dom multiple iframe everything is being supported we have made it possible that whatever scenarios you have it will be supporting let me show you how so in this page now we have also redesigned this practice space so you have a better view and better understanding like where it is shadow dom where is iframe everything so here this is a shadow dom now you inspect this element and you see that it is letting you know that this is inside shadow dom and this is the shadow dom locator here so like in playwright you don't have to like for switch inside shadow dom or every anything you have to do in one command one single command it has everything so this is the host locator this is the element selectors and everything is there and you can simply do that and in fact it also gives the script for the selenium user by default here earlier also like it also suggests you that this element is inside single shadow dom this is the css selector of the host this is the css selector for the element so everything it is being suggested here as well if it is if it will be inside multiple shadow dom then also it will be supporting so this element is inside two nested shadow dom so this is also you are getting here if any element is inside let's say iframe i will show you or as like even for the better view you just select here come and inspect so you see that automatically you get to know that this is inside shadow dom and you select and you get the details here. then let me show you the iframe keep scrolling and yeah practice iframe and nested iframe here so you have it here now inspect these elements so you see that this is inside single iframe and you see that you get the details here iframe locator and everything you don't have to like uh, like in iframe you have to like first switch inside iframe and then you perform so same way like whatever functionality playwright has it is supporting here then you inspect this element this is inside two nested iframe so it is letting you know and the complete locator playwright thing playwright command which you can use if it is inside multiple iframe like let's say three iframe it is showing you that three iframes are there x path for iframe one iframe two iframe three and the element x path and here is the complete locator playwright locator like frame one frame two frame three and then the element now your life is be going to become a lot lot more easier if you are using playwright with selectors okay so we have seen that it supports all kinds of iframe now now let us go back here and see if it supports like svg and other types of elements and everything so yes you just go any element if that will be like svg it will be supporting for that svg elements as well like this particular element this is svg so it highlight that this is svg element and these are the locators so now you have seen that it supports iframe it supports shadow dom it supports svg it supports all kinds of elements and generates everything out there if you if i show you like if any element is inside iframe in shadow dom so let us try this as well so this also works and it used to it will give you the complete command like this uh, element is inside single shadow dom and everything so anything which is whatever that will be having properties will be supported with this particular tool selector sub and playwright so i'm sure like this is going to make your life a lot more easier everything whatever was there before in selector sub that will be keep supporting now you just have to if you want to generate playwright selectors either in dev tools or you just click on the selector sub logo and this is here this you can consider as a beta release because this is the very first release we are making it for playwright so if you guys have any suggestion if you face any problem feel free to uh, raise a ticket or you can al always write to us at support at selectorsub.com and we will be happy to take that particular feature request or any kind of problem 
you can also uh, do a live chat here with us if you face any problem and if you like this tool please do rate us on chrome store give us a five star rating whatever your suggestion will be there we are more than happy to implement that and we look forward for your support to spread the word about this particular tool and let the world know that they can automatically generate playwright selectors native playwright selector with the help of selector sub and also they can verify their playwright selectors right here in selector sub with that thank you so much and please do let us know that how much you like this particular feature and what was the require what are other requirements you have like if you need any particular selectors any type of things any suggestion here in selector sub we will be more than happy to implement and yeah till then take care and thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you